So I encourage you, if you're underneath the balcony or on a bench, to come on in and have a seat. The dome over our head enhances our sound quite a bit, and you'll hear us better, so come on in. For those of you behind us, we only face one direction during our show. Now is a great time to come around to the sides or to the front. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having us out today. Is everyone having a good time at Epcot so far? Yeah! Well, we're having a great day, too. Now, we hear the voices of liberty. We sing folk patriotic and Americana music. But we're going to get started with some Disney songs that I think you'll recognize right away. Oh, pal, say. Son, you've got a fresh team. Do, 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 do,
you do is how to have a thousand tails to master your in luck. Cause up your sleeves, you got a pretty that you never fail. Never fails. power in your corner now. Some heavy ammunition in your cab. You got some punch. This is. The who and how. See, all you got to do is run that lamp. And I'll say, Mr. Aladdin, sir, what will your pleasure be? Take your order, jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. No, no, no. Life is your restaurant, and we're your, we are your beta D. Come whisper what it is you want. You ain't never had a friend like me. Can your friends do this? Doom, baba, doom, baba, doo, doo, dow. Can your friends do that? This next song is a beautiful old cowboy love song written back in the late 1800s. It tells the story of a local girl. As her cowboy soldier prepares to leave the Red River Valley,
1814, America was still involved in the War of 1812. Two young Americans, a doctor and a lawyer, were being held aboard a British battleship that was anchored in the Baltimore Harbor just outside Fort McHenry. Now the two men were about to be released when it was discovered they had overheard secret battle plans of an upcoming attack. So to maintain secrecy, it was decided that the two men would remain aboard the ship for the duration of the fight. Well, the battle began and it raged on into the night. And from their vantage point, the two young Americans could do nothing but watch. They could see Fort McHenry in the distance and as a bomb would burst over the fort, they could catch a glimpse of the American flag. You see, they knew that if that flag remained flying, the American dream was still alive. The battle ended in the early morning hours. And because of the darkness, the outcome was uncertain. Uncertain until the next morning when the sun rose, revealing the stars and stripes still flying proudly. Well, one of the young men, the young lawyer, was so moved by all he had seen that he took out an old envelope, and on the back he wrote some words in the form of a poem. Words that are still very familiar to us today. For that young man's name was Francis Scott Key, and the words that he penned so long ago, we still proudly call our national anthem. Oh, say.